Hey everyone, welcome back to the Battle of the Foundations and we are now on day 6. Today we are going to be trying out the Lancome Tiant Idol Ultra 24 hour foundation, which I probably just completely butchered that name. But if you want to see my thoughts on this, then just keep watching. So before we get started, I do want to remind you to please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and make sure you hit the notification bell so you will get a notification when I have uploaded a new video. As always, I've gone ahead and I have uh, primed my face. I've put on my under eye concealer and we will go in with a beauty blender on one side, not a beauty blender, the L'Oreal sponge, I should say, and a flat top kabuki brush on the other. Um, today we are going to try out the Lancome, and I know I'm going to butcher this, the Tiant Idol Ultra HD Makeup. After the horrible experience <laughs> with the last foundation, I thought I would go into something that's tried and true and something I absolutely love and can show you how much I adore this. So I am in the color 270 um, Bisque W. And this has a great pump on it, so let's get started. I'm going to go in with a couple of dabs on this side. And go with my beauty blender. If you notice, I'm wearing the same clothes from my last video. It's because I am. Um, I just went in and washed my face and I'm starting all over. And in my last video, I mentioned that I had been peeling because I'd been using the Retin-A and I didn't notice that until I had already gone in and started putting on my under eye concealer and stuff. So since I went in and washed my face, I went in with my uh, Bosha Exfoliating Gel Peel and I love this because that just instantly takes all of that dead skin off that you get. And I don't think I'm going to have any problems with anything showing up now. Because it's gone. Okay. Why do I always get it in my hair up here? I'm not very careful. Okay, I'm going to go in with a little bit more in my trouble area here. Take any excess down my neck. This is very lightweight feeling. It gives great coverage. Okay, so this side now I have done with the Sponge. And now let's go in with the brush. This is leaving quite a few brush strokes. I'm not blending in very well with the brush, so I'm going to go back in with that sponge before this dries. Blend that in a lot better. So, no, don't use a sponge. If you hear talking in the background, my husband's home for the day, my stepson's here while he is studying to go into the Air Force. And they're out there just chatting away and laughing. Okay, I should 
this dries fairly quickly too, so you gotta work fast. Okay, let me zoom you in real quick and you can get an idea what this looks like before I go in with the rest of my makeup. So, hold tight. Okay, this is the side that I originally did with the sponge. So, as you can see, it gives you really great coverage. Um, really subtle. It, it is tacky. It's very tacky, so I will definitely need to set this with powder. And then this is the side I started to do with the beauty blend or with the brush. But I went in with the sponge to uh, fix that. But it just looks really good on my skin. So I'm going to go finish the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. Okay, so I am finally done applying all of my makeup. I have to tell you, I'm in love with this foundation. I think it just looks so flawless. Now, my skin right now is really going through a change because I have been starting to use the Retin-A. Um, but it just has a beautiful glow to this. Um, like I said, it is very tacky, so you do definitely need to set this with a powder of some sort. Um, I love the finish on this. I love the color of it. I think it's just a beautiful match to my skin color. I just adore it. I love how this wears. I've worn it numerous times and it just lasts all day long. It doesn't settle into my fine lines and my wrinkles. It doesn't wear off. It just, by the end of the day, it's going to look just like it does right now. So I highly recommend this. Um, it just is wonderful. Even in the areas where I normally have my foundation wear off, is I get a little oily around my nose area. I don't have a problem with this whatsoever. It just stays looking gorgeous. So um, I'm going to zoom you in real quick and give you a close-up look of it and show you what it looks like. So hold up. All right. So here we are all close up. Like I said, it does not settle into anything. It just wears flawlessly as long as you powder it. I've not tried to wear this without powder, um, just because, again, it, it does stay so tacky. So I love it. Um, let me zoom me back out again. Okay, for the products on the rest of my face, for my contour, I use my NYX Contour and Highlighting Palette. I use the Physician's Formula Bronzer. Um, I use the Becca... Um, Oh, I forgot what blush color it is, but I'll leave it down in the description box. Um, I use the Cover FX Translucent Powder um, under my eyes, along with the Tarte Shape Tape. And then I use the... Um, trying to blank here. Okay, so I'm trying to blank on what powder I used all over my face. I'll leave that down below too. I'm sorry, it's been a long day already. Um, and then on my eyes, I use the Marc Jacobs um, Object of My Desire. I've already filmed an eye tutorial using this, so if you miss that, I will leave a link right up here um, so you can go watch that as well. Um, on my lips, I have the Revlon Color Burst Matte Lip Balm. Blom. See, it's been a long day. <laughs> Matte Lip Balm. And this is in the color 225 Sultry. And then I set my face using the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. So, this is the final look. How everything turned out. Again, I just absolutely love this foundation. It's going to be one of my top when I rank these. I can tell you that already. So, we're done with day six. Day seven is still to come, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and please give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. So, until next time, I love you guys, and...